Okay, I'm sure everybody's seen the uh, video on the, the guy who puts together a spindle with magnets, okay, and bounces it above a magnet on a piece of glass and spins it and then pulls the glass out from under it, okay? Now, I love that video. I truly do. What I don't like is that they didn't take the time to explain to you the parameters. You know, if you went and bought the exact items he had and put it together, you might be able to get it to work, okay? But say your base magnet's smaller or your washers are different, you know, you can't duplicate that experiment without the exact items. And they don't, they don't tell you what they got. They just put it together and showed you it could be done, which is great. It opened my mind to a lot of possibilities until you start to do it yourself. And then you get frustrated because it doesn't work like the video. Okay, so I'm here to explain to you the mechanics of it. So you can go and make your own experiment and see it work and understand that it's not a hoax. Okay, all right. Now, first of all, the dowel you use. Okay. If you use just any dowel, okay, roughly cut on the bottom, all right, when you go to spin it like a top, it's going to sit there and move around and everything else and just, you know, it's not going to work for you. You want to make sure you've got a clean cut on the end of your dowel, okay. Second, your magnets, okay, the strength of your magnets determines the height of your spacers, okay. So when you slide your magnets over, all right, uh, let me back up a little bit, all right? You put your magnets on, on the post, and then he put washers on both top and bottom, okay? The washers act as a flywheel. A flywheel carries inertia to allow something to spin further. It's, it's a way to carry energy, okay? Your car has a flywheel, like especially standard transmissions. The heavier the flywheel, the smaller you can have an engine and it not bog down when you shift gears because what it's doing is the engine's carrying inertia over and over and over allowing you to go to a higher gear and not lose that momentum it's potential energy okay so the washers are put in top and bottom i couldn't find any to match the diameter i'd have to go to the hardware store okay to deter to, to, ah, to determine your spacing you want to take your your magnet set up and everything and gauge the height of it okay where it's going to sit there and sit there and repel and draw and also I do believe the washers act as a draw to the magnet so the strength of your base magnet compared to the strength of your your uh, spindle magnets will determine on how high up you're going to want that spacer to put the glass down in order to spin the top and have it float because now another thing that's very important is when this is spinning it creates a gyroscopic force okay which allows it to maintain its position a lot better almost like an earth the earth okay a gy gyroscopic force is one of the better things okay to sit there and learn about because you can do a lot with a gyroscope where you can't with an you know a non-moving object so there's a lot of uh, new vehicles coming out. There's actually mopeds coming out that are have a gyroscope in them that you can't tip them over. You know, they won't fall over because there's a gyroscope keeping them upright while they're running. You know, and, and it's a great science. Uh, if you ever want to build something, work that into it. You know, if you want to invent something, work it into it because there's a lot can be done there. So, so just so you don't get frustrated when you're doing your experiment you just gotta know the mechanics and why things are the way they are so good luck and I will post further once I get this working myself and I will not stop until I do thanks a lot don't forget to like and subscribe please and please send a comment I don't care if it's mean or whatever not I don't care if it, it's about my mama's fat I don't care she would have kicked your butt anyways you know she's tougher than most people that talk shit so Good luck. Bye.